What's up, guys? What's going on? Let's talk a little Bitcoin and a little Web3 Gaming. How do these connect? How does the having affect Web3 Gaming? Let's have a look, guys. As you know, some of my top Web3 Gaming plays, right? Obviously, we've got Miria. Uh, Mora Games is another partner of is a, is a partner of Miria. Miria, I believe, will be a very similar play to Gala in the last bull run. Going to do fantastic things, guys. Uh, obviously, we've got Sandbox, you know, not really my well, kind of gaming, but I, I steer more towards uh, Metaverse when I think about Sandbox. Same with Mana, the Central Land. But, you know, we've got a lot of other plays here. OTK is going to be a fantastic play, in my opinion. Uh, what else? We got Beam, obviously, right? Beam, another fantastic Web3 gaming play. Uh, what do we got? Uh, again, we've got the normal ones, right? You've got Gala. Uh, you've got, uh, like I said before, Sandbox. You've got guys, you've got Lit Labs. Oh, it's not even on here. So you've got Lit Labs, right? You've got AWT is another one of my favorites, guys, over on the Matic Network, Abyss World. Good at at least 80 to 100x, in my opinion. Uh, just some of the fantastic Web3 gaming plays out there, guys. Naka, uh, Wagami, uh, some fantastic Web3 gaming plays that I'm excited about. Ronin, obviously, right? Ronin's another good one. There's a lot of Web3 gaming plays coming out on Avalanche as well that are going to be, they're, they're not sleeping on it, man. They're not sleeping on Web3 gaming. Uh, so definitely check that out. Uh, so yeah, very, very bullish there, guys. Um, make sure, guys, make sure you have some Web3 gaming plays. Obviously not financial advice, but I would, I would say have some Web3 gaming plays. Bitcoin halving can cause a surge in Web3 Gaming. Uh, in the last couple of months, Web3 Gaming experienced a surge in investor interest um, and development. It is not a coincidence that the industry's recent growth happened around the same time as the Bitcoin halving. Bitcoin halving recently happened uh, on the 19th of April. As a result of this, the rewards per block was reduced to 3.125 BTC from 6.25. Uh, having happens every four years, which means that the next having is scheduled in 2028. But why is the having so important? Um, so the reason why the having uh, holds high importance is that it reduces the supply of Bitcoin in the market. Theoretically, this means that its price should go up if the demand increases or res remains the same. Uh, this trend becomes apparent from the price action during the previous having cycles. And as we know, uh, the interest is obviously uh, very, very high with these ETF approvals kicking into place. Uh, after the first halving on November 12th, uh, or sorry, November 2020, uh, 2012, Bitcoin's uh, price increased by 1,800% within five months and 3,000% within a year and a half um, of the second halving. Uh, uh, however, the third halving in 2020, had relatively modest effects on the price. Nevertheless, we can see the upward trend. And I think that a big part of why we saw such a dramatic amount of uh, uh, decrease in returns in the last bull run was because of C19. I think that affected the market far more than people understand. It kind of halted it, came to a screeching halt, and I think it slowed us down for a little bit. So I think that that is a big factor in that. And I think we're going to see higher gains this time around as a result. Uh, the Web3 gaming market revenue uh, was more than $4.6 billion in 2022. The report suggests that it was increased to $65.7 billion by the end of 2027. Recently, many traditional gaming studios have been interested in blockchain gaming, tech like Sony, Ubisoft, and Square Enix. Uh, think PlayStation, think Final Fantasy, stuff like that, right? For example, we saw uh, Ubisoft entering Web3 uh, with its PvP tactical RPG Champions Tactics uh, symbi sim Symbiogenesis by Square Enix in another example. Uh, a AAA game studio, uh, Gunzilla Games, also integrated its Guns blockchain with OpenSea to, uh, to enable NFTs in its upcoming shooter game Off the Grid. Uh, Bitcoin's price impacts the entire Web3 gaming uh, market as investors' interest rises during price pumps. Since the general per uh, perception is that having pumps up the price, Web3 projects tend to benefit from the positive outlook in the overall market. 
I would agree, guys. Web3 Gaming is going to be massive. I think a lot of people are sleeping on it, and you're going to regret it. You're going to be FOMOing in later. Uh, guys, Web3 Gaming is tied into, like, the NFT market, guys, right? It's tied into the metaverse. It's tied into so much. Think when you were growing up, guys. Um, you know, uh, we used to go to arcades. I don't know how old you are, but we used to go to arcades when we were kids. Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, things like that. Web3 Gaming, or sorry, well, Web3 Gaming, but gaming was the thing, and it has only continued to evolve and get better as time goes on, and it's going to continue to do that. Think Donkey Kong, the original Donkey Kong, or Super Mario, versus where Web3 Gaming is today, and then look at where it's going to be in 10, 15, 20 years from now, right? You do the math. Do you want to be a part of that financial gain? Let me know, guys. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Uh, click the join button to become a member of the channel. Get microcap gem videos. We just did a members only live stream today. You, you, we dropped two microcap gems over there. You're definitely going to want to check those out, guys. Click the join button to be a part of that. Uh, join the Patreon, guys. I just uploaded a video over there today too. Um, we do. We're doing a whole lot over on the Patreon. A uh, lot of live streams, a lot of videos, a lot of personal content my portfolio a lot of stuff like that guys you definitely want to be a part of it so join the patreon uh link is down below for that follow me on x and uh join the discord and again like and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one